Well, I mean, yeah, as I'm, I'm tweeting this out now, but uh, Miami's quarterback commit, Arthur Sikowski, just flipped uh, to Ruggers. So that's his uh, hometown uh, team. He's from New Jersey. He transferred to IMG Academy uh, for this school year. Um, was looking to upgrade his uh, performance and things like that. Played pretty poorly, actually, a couple times and got benched for another kid who's not really even a big-time recruit, uh, Zach Anikstad his, is his name. Uh, yeah, and Miami was going to stick with Sikowski even through the poor performance. Uh, he had, like, three for 12 for two interceptions and, like, 13 yards against Miami Central earlier in the season, Miami Central being one of the best high school teams in America. Uh, I'm just seeing – like, I, my phone was going crazy. I have it on silent, but it's lighting up over here. And so I was like, okay, let me go back over to my tweet deck on my laptop and see what's going on. And just, wow. So uh, that that's uh, that's something new. So uh, Miami is looking for a quarterback commit in this class again. And, uh, yeah, you know, recruited. we haven't talked recruiting in a while because it's been a, a different kind of recruiting year for Miami. Miami basically got settled with the 2018 class with a large foundation of it. And then uh, it's just kind of selecting to rec- uh, finish out the class. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I believe that you have to have a quarterback in every class just because of attrition and injury and performance and just have to have one for your your program. And uh, Sikowski might not have been the best performer on the field this year, but uh, he's young for his grade, which is a, a, the first thing. Uh, just turned 17 last spring, so he's going to turn 18 in the spring of 2018. Excuse me. So you have a lot of kids who are 18 and a half, 19 coming in as freshmen. He's young for his grade or at the grade age level for those of us who are a little bit older like you or I. Uh, that's what the normal grade age was. Um, you know, he's 6'5", 218, has a strong arm, good fundamentals. Obviously needs to improve his performance, but uh, he's going to be trying to improve that back home in New Jersey and not down in Coral Gables, which uh, – yeah, I was, and I was just seeing a bunch of stuff. A couple of my friends are texting me like, hey, we just offered this guy a quarterback and that guy. And I'm like, why would we do that? And I saw some people, you know, trying to find what my screen name is on Twitter. Underwood Sports is mine. And then at the State of the U is the site. Uh, so you can find me in either of those places. So I'm wondering why I'm getting all these mentions. So, yeah, Miami's quarterback for the 2018 class just flipped to Rutgers. So uh, you heard it here live on the recording. So that's fun. Kim, I'm just glad to be uh, grouped in your age classification. That, that you did that for me. Just just <laughs> putting in the same age classification. I like that. So yeah, Sikowski. Yeah, I, mean, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, we're not uh, we're not spring chickens either anymore, either of us. So uh yeah, the uh, the way in the rear view mirror for high school kind of age group. Yeah, that's fine. So I see that uh, Sikowski is pretty well regarded as the eleventh rated pro style quarterback in the composite from two four seven. Actually two four seven sports uh, specifically has him rated as the fifth best pro style quarterback number 42 recruit out of New Jersey and a top 300 player overall at 65215 yeah all right I mean, he's he's well regarded I, I guarantee you that's going to change just because his performance at IMG was was not good and we spoke about him playing in a wing T kind of offense in high school uh, back in old bridge New Jersey and looking to really go to a more pro style or spread set uh, down there at IMG. Shane Patterson, or sorry, Shea Patterson from Ole Miss was there previously. Kellen Mond, who's starting at Texas A&M, two starting quarterbacks uh, in the SEC right now. Uh, there's a couple other guys who went through IMG, so he's trying to follow those footsteps. And, uh, you know, while I believe he's developing, uh, it's kind of the – like if you're doing a home reno and you do wiring and, and plumbing and it's stuff inside the walls that you can't readily see, I think that's how his development is going. So I think you're going to see it further down the line. But you're not going to see it in orange and green. You're going to see it in whatever colors Rutgers wears because who knows. But, uh, you know, yeah, that, that uh, interesting stuff. So when I get off of here, I'm definitely going to have to work on that. But, uh, yeah, so recruiting, it, it, it never stops. And I talk about this all the time. But, uh, yeah, 